Hi everyone! In this life, I always view circumstances as God's means to work for the good of His children. In Romans 8.28, it says, For we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord. This verse brought great comfort to me when I experienced one of the hardest moments in my life. It was in June 2017 when I lost our first baby to a miscarriage. After that very sad incident, my husband and I have desperately and frequently been asking God to grant us another baby. It was a difficult time, yet in one of my personal devotions, God dealt with me and gave me His word. He said, He is going to give me a child, not because I love or I want to have one, but because He has a plan for the person that He will entrust in our care as parents. This was His promise spoken last November 2018. From then, I surrendered my peace to Him and to His perfect plan. God healed my heart and He strengthened me to move on and to trust in His ways. However, circumstances and people would suggest that I should take a leave or quit my ministry job and maybe I could get pregnant. I was reminded that I am not young anymore and I should be more intentional in having a baby or else I would never have any. I can admit that I almost succumbed to those pressures. It was really hard to believe when everything around me was telling otherwise. There were times that I even blamed myself or my husband, but then God's promise would always ring in my heart and remind me to faithfully hold on to it. It was really God who sustained me with faith to believe. This year 2020 was dreadful for all of us. We lost control for a period and were shocked by a national lockdown by this COVID pandemic. I went through episodes of discouragement and foolishness on what would happen and what to do with the ministry of discipleship in the city. I tried to pick up some pieces and see hope from there. Little did I know that it was somehow God's means to fulfill His promise for us. During this time of national lockdown, my husband and I were able to take full rest and spend longer and meaningful time together. And finally, last May 2020, guess what? I got pregnant! A promise fulfilled. However, my journey from pregnancy to delivery was another long road of faith-stretching experience. Nevertheless, through these trials, God has powerfully and miraculously proven that He is a promise keeper and a miracle working God. I gave birth to CS to our very precious Ramela Isa on my eighth month of pregnancy last January 20, 2021. It was a life threatening experience for me and emotionally challenging to my husband as well. Yet God, in His divine providence, made a way for us to triumph over difficulty and danger. God is awesome after all. First, His time is right and perfect for us. In the midst of danger and difficulty, God provides comfort and convenience. Second, His protection is constant. He never let any illness to fall on us. He sent His angel through our Omikai to make sure that I and the baby will be given the right medical attention and safety. And third, his provision is abundant. He opened more lorrying opportunities to my husband, Ram, in the midst of economic reform. We were never in want. We joyfully experienced the abundance of his providence. In conclusion, we lost one pregnancy, but now we have gained a promise fulfilled journey. We lost control over our work and ministry, yet we have experienced Christ's miraculous works revealed in and through us. And not to forget, the church planting ministry also experienced spiritual victories through the lives of the people we were able to encounter and engage with via online platform. Therefore, let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Hebrews 10.23 this is Ellen Rojo Gallo and I'm sharing with you our story of loss to gain.